Hey, it's Griffin Sarah, and we're on the Zerubbabel Trail. In southern Washington County. Is that where we're going? That's where we're going. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're starting a new thing, a new series called the Zerubbabel Trail. I think we should say Zerubbabel, I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, but we... Possibly. I'm not going to pronounce it that way. It took us a long enough time to get Zerubbabel I, I out of our own mouth. I can't even spell oh. it. <laughs> I don't know what the guy's nickname would have been, but you know, there's no way you could just uh, spit that out every time. But who knows, maybe he went by his middle name, whatever that is. We were just going around and showing you the different locations of where there's a robable stones. The one with the uh, soul effigy with uh, all the flowery stuff. We might run into some of his sons, James. And uh, I guess there was a there was an apprentice, and I can't remember his name, Benjamin something. But uh, if you want, you can uh, refer back to our original Zerubbabel Collins movie. And we got a lot of information in there that we've forgotten. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it? Phineas Whiteside Esquire. There he is. There's the head. It's, it's hard good. to see. It's a little worn out. But that's it. That's our Zerubbabel here at the Whiteside Church. And I think technically this is South Cambridge. South Cambridge? I think so. All right. And there's oh. the church. Yeah. They're doing some churching right now, so we're being real quiet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Phineas Whiteside would have been, you know, the founder of the Whiteside Church. Okay. Hence the name. Hence the name. There he is. <laughs> <laughs>